Vlogging Whitney is back. Listen, I just got back, how many days ago? Four days ago from my Manchester Gymshark pop-up. And then I flew straight to LA for my Tarte X Whitney launch party. Didn't unpack, because I knew I'd be unpacking to repack right now. So right now I'm getting ready to head to Mexico for Jasmine Garcia's birthday. So we booked this a couple months ago for her birthday. <sighs> I didn't realize my dates would be on top of each other, you know? What am I gonna do with all my paparoos and Stefan this week? I'm not ready. And I think Stefan's a little angry. Are you angry? He's shaking his head yes. <laughs> but you're like happy for me. He's still happy for me. <laughs> this should be an easy pack though because I won't do anything but lay in a swimsuit and edit content and maybe post some content. I'll definitely post some content. <laughs> I know you guys are probably so tired of me talking about the Tarte Club and I promise I won't talk about it again after this video. Maybe one more time, but that's it. So I flew out to LA because Tarte had a morning little workout session. The party was from 9 to 12 and there was two workouts in between led by your girl, which is weird because, you know, if you want to hit the gym with me and lift some weights, I'm ready to go, baby. But if you want to do a bodyweight workout, I need to think a little bit more than a five minute hit session, you know? <laughs> but the party was so cool. APL Shoes was there. Everyone got a free pair of shoes. Gymshark was there. Alani New was there. There was a cute little smoothie bar. So it was so cool and so surreal. It went by so fast. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> Utah and we did a quick little photo shoot together on Saturday so before that you know we hit the gym together and I did film a leg workout so for the leg workout because we were both jet lagged exhausted and it wasn't our best day I'll be honest we did a very typical leg workout nothing too crazy nothing too difficult it felt really difficult that day when we were filming it though because we were both so stinking tired started out with some hip thrusts y'all know i can't do leg day without hip thrusts so today we started out with hip thrusts and this is my current favorite variation of hip thrusts i did eight complete reps to a complete stop so i drop the weight at the bottom of the hip thrust before i go back up remember to keep your core nice and tight tuck your tailbone keep your chin tucked after eight reps i held the weight at the top and did five pulses and these pulses absolutely demolished me and Nikki. <laughs> Nikki's a little bit shorter so she can't drop the weight all the way so she did a normal hip thrust that you see without the weight dropped at the bottom still keeping that tension in her glutes pressing all the way up if you can't drop the weight because the bench might be too high for you and it's too hard to like get back on and off the bench don't worry girl do it the way Nikki did it so we did four sets of that and then we moved straight into deadlifts Nikki chose for sumo deadlifts. I chose for conventional deadlifts, which is new for me. Every month or two, I like to focus on one exercise and getting either really strong at it or really good at it. Well, a combination of both. The leg day exercise I've been really working hard at is currently conventional deadlifts, which I'm a newbie at, I'll be honest. I'm a newbie at them. If you're thinking right now, you have way too many swimsuits, Whitney, you're not wrong. This one's so cute. I can give her a little giraffe look. Ooh. This was a very hamstring and glute focused workout. So after the deadlifts, then we moved into RDLs, dumbbell RDLs, one of my favorite hamstring and glute exercises. RDLs are going to start at the top, whereas a deadlift is going to start at the bottom. So RDLs starting at the top, keeping a slight bend in your knees, hinging at your hips, keeping your back and core nice and tight, back straight, keeping your head in alignment, you know? Don't. Don't do this with your neck, you know? Keep it right here. <laughs> Did a few sets of the RDLs. Uh, don't worry, I'll leave the entire workout in the description box below. Moved into some sumo straight leg. So this time my feet were placed just past shoulder width apart. Toes pointed slightly outward. And this time you can notice a difference from the RDL to the straight leg deadlift. My knees are just a little bit straighter than they would be for the RDL. At this time, we were pretty beat, but I said, 
we can do this nikki let's get a burnout and my favorite burnout at the moment is taking a big exercise ball and doing stability ball hamstring curls getting one of those exercise balls it takes a lot of stability core work keeping your core nice and engaged use your hands on the floor just to help stabilize you not assist you through this workout but this will demolish your hamstrings and i like to spice it up a little bit with doing a bridge in between so a hamstring curl and a bridge and it will kill you i can only do two sets of it i was going for three girl i was going for three and i only made it to two i like to say a for effort all right just wrapping up leg day not our best day i'll be honest ali's here too not our best day, not our worst day. But we pushed we pushed through A for effort, that's what matters. But all I'm saying is that was a tough one. So, sorry I'm on a ball, that's probably really annoying. <laughs> Enjoyed the weekend with Nikki. We got some acai bowls. We went and saw Lion King with Stefan. We went on a little family date, the three of us. A little triple date. And then today, oh man, I really don't want to cry again. I know I cried in my last reveal video and I don't want to cry again, but today, was a day of, I will probably never forget. Unless Steph and I break up, then I'll try to forget, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> he was with me, you know? No? That was funny, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for calling Ulta Beauty. For a brow appointment or for any other inquiries, please press four. I'm nervous. Why am I so nervous? Just pray. Okay. What if they know it's me? <laughs> Thank you for calling Ulta Beauty in the Brickyard Plaza. My name is Sarah. Hi Sarah, I was wondering if you guys got the new Whitney X Tarte Cosmetics collaboration in stores today? We did. Awesome, thank you so much. No problem, have a good day. Thanks, bye bye. <sighs> that was so scary. <laughs> Let's go. So what did you think? I know that was weird, but I bought my own palette at Ulta. That's not dramatic at all. How do you feel? Your face was in your favorite store. I'm very overwhelmed right now. All right, we won't tear up. We'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, man. It still hasn't hit me. Even seeing it in person, I was like, what? Are you sure this should be here? It was so cool, so. I got the best community here. You guys are so supportive and so loving, and I know that you know how much this means to me, and I love y'all so much for your support during this launch. Oh, and then Ulta? Are you kidding me? I'm seeing all y'all tag me at the Ulta stores, it's so fun, so. I love y'all, thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting this collaboration. It's been, it's been such a crazy week. So many emotions, so little time. And now I'm leaving again tomorrow, but this will just be a quick little trip, celebrating Jazz's birthday, coming home. Hi, Andy. Hi. Hi, my little bunky head. Come here. How do you You wanna come with me? I'll put you in a cute little bathing suit. She loves to sunbathe, so you would have fun, huh? If I can't find Andy, she's outside sunbathing. Packing up all my swimsuits now. I have gotten into the habit of just taking every swimsuit that I know that I like. Cause you never know what day is it gonna be. Is it a one piece day? Is it a low rise day? A high rise day? What kind of swimsuit day is it? How am I gonna be feeling? I'm starting my period this week. So, you know, I gotta make sure I'm wearing dark colors. No accidents here. Was that TMI for you or? No TMI for him. <laughs> I got this cute little new suitcase that I love. I travel so much that my suitcases get beat up real quick. So I got this guy, although the light color, I knew the light color would get destroyed so fast, but I was like, listen, it's so cute. It's gonna be fine. One flight, she's a mess. <laughs> so here's my little packing cubes. This one's just all swimsuits. I think I'm only gonna take one or two outfits. I think we're going to dinner once, twice, and the rest of the time we will not be getting ready. I don't think I'm gonna bring any makeup. I might bring my little beach waver that I used in my Hawaii get ready with me, and that's it. So I'm trying not to stress too much. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fine. I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna finish packing and I'll check in in a little bit. All right, we are making moves. Got my swimsuits all in here. Just a whole lot of swimsuits. <laughs> I'm only bringing a few normal outfits. Gotta restock my vitamins for my last trip. Bring in my hydro flask so I got plenty of water. My little Amika waiver. Oh, 
one pair of flip flops, one pair of sandals, a little mini steamer, got my pajamas, you know, the goods in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Making moves. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. All right, enough of that. All right, packing up my sunscreen right now. I got a few new goodies from L to MD. You guys know I'm obsessed with this tinted facial sunscreen with hyaluronic acid, so it's super hydrating. It has a little bit of tint. I love her. But then, let me tell you a story. When I was in Hawaii with Stefan, we bought a mineral sunscreen. I've been trying to find a perfect chemical-free zinc oxide sunscreen. And in Hawaii, I bought the Sun Bomb, and I didn't try it out before we left. And holy heck and bob, it was awful. It didn't matter how much you rubbed it in, you had like a major white cast all over your body. So I recently picked up the Elta MD one. Same brand as my facial sunscreen is clear. A little bit of a white, but like it goes into a clear. Hallelujah. Protect the skin you're in. You know what I'm saying? I know I changed outfits. Sorry. This is my toiletry bag that's been ruined by soft tanner. Gonna pop some of my favorites in there. Gotta get my Tula facial cleansers. All right, I don't think I'm bringing any soft tanner because I don't think I'll need it. I always have like stuff that never leaves here, you know? I got my tampons up here, some scissors, Q-tips, a little perfume, my little razors, shave off that little mustache, you know? I got a mustache curl. What else? Oh, I know what else. I need some body lotion. I just realized that my body lotions are running low. Which one's more full? I picked up a two pack of this organic hand and body lotion frames free, all skin types, all day moisture. It's pretty good. The lotion I was using before had mineral oil, which some people say affects psoriasis, so I made the switch, but no change yet. A little dry shampoo. What else? Oh, my texturizing spray, BRB girl. Like I said, I don't think I'll be doing my hair often, but I would like to make sure I have this stuff in case I do. Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Undone Texture Spray. Picked up a new one of this at Ulta today. Also love my IGK Beach Club. This one leaves a little less um, grit in my hair, so I'm gonna go for this one. All right, I'll check back in later. I need a packing break. It's been go, go, go all day, sister. I was just with my sister, so now I'm in the habit of saying sister a million times. I also call my girls my sisters, you know? Well, so I just need to relax with that for a sec. See you soon. Honestly, I'll probably wrap this up soon. Okay, love y'all.